Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from Data Direct Networks. We have Uday Mohan. He is a product marketing manager at the company. Uday, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Rich. How are you? Oh, oh great, great. You know, I've been on, a, on the road, but I'm glad to be back and gear up for supercomputing. But I saw your, your guys' uh, announcement uh, from DDN about this new appliance. And this thing was really intriguing to me because of what's under the hood, which is uh, GPFS. So uh, can, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure. So we are really excited to announce this product. This is our GS7K. This is an all-in-one scale-out, very high performance and scalable parallel file system appliance. So it's all parallel file systems. Uh, what we've done is we've taken DDN storage fusion architecture, the, the core operating system and platform that powers some of the largest supercomputers. And then what we've done is we've embedded GPFS into the storage controller itself. So this is a third generation of our embedded product. Really excited uh, to have this out in the market. Uh, it, you can, customers can start small and then scale out to really large uh, numbers of performance and capacity. So I can go through the details in the deck. Okay, okay, I brought your slides up. Uh, let's go through that. Yeah, so, so with the way that I designed this deck was I briefly talk about who DDN is and, the, and then I move into the actual product. So if you move to slide number two, uh, this is just briefly who DDN is. Uh, DDN is a provider of massively scalable and high-performance storage systems. So we solve big data lifecycle challenges at large scale. Um, we sell products that, that can be basically fitted into three buckets. We have uh, high-performance block storage. This is our core platforms. Then built on top of the our core block platforms are our file system solutions. And then we have object storage. And I'll talk about these three buckets in the next slide. But basically, we've been around for, 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 uh, for over, over a decade. We have tons of customers, over 50 countries. I believe we have offices in 17, 18 countries right now. Um, we have headquartered in Santa Clara. And as you can see from the bottom of the slide, we've won, won a whole bunch of awards. Uh, we're actually very well known in HPC. That's our DNA and, 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 and uh, so that, that, that'll give you an idea of about who DDN is. If you move to slide number three, uh, slide number three basically talks about our product portfolio. Now, I will not go into all the details of this slide, but at a high level, I, I said that we sell products that can be fit into three buckets. So the first bucket is our core storage platforms. That is the SFA, SFA 12KX and the SFA 7700, our high-end and our mid-range product. This is all block storage, uh, fiber channel and phenomenon. Then layered on top of this, these, these core storage platforms are our exascalar and grid scalar. These are our parallel file system products based on IBM GPFS and Luster. And then the third bucket is our object storage, which is WASP, Web Object Scalar. This is basically a cloud foundation for folks that want to build a large public or private cloud and want to go object-based. So that's the 60-second overview of the DDN product portfolio. Um, if you move to slide number four, um, this slide is important because the GS7K, the product that we're announcing, is actually a parallel file system. And I and just wanted to bring this fact out to folks. A lot of folks confuse parallel file systems with scale-out NAS, whereas NAS is not really parallel. NAS is a point-to-point -point technology. So take NFS SIFs. Uh, these are all point-to-point. So a client that is talking NFS mounts a particular server. So even if you have a clustered uh, NAS scale-out system that has, say, 20 boxes in the back end, a client at any one time only talks to a particular server. So it's a point-to-point -point connection. So, your, so the throughput that the client sees is limited by two things. It's limited by how beefy the server is because the server has to do all the work to collect all the, all the bits of data and, and assemble it and send it to the client. And the second is the, the bandwidth is limited by the network connection. So that's, that's NAS. It's point-to-point. -point, it's limited. So the next evolution to NAS is parallel file systems. They've been around for, for some time now, and the way that parallel file systems work is the client can talk to multiple servers in the back end. So you can get much higher aggregate bandwidth to a single client than what you get with NAS. So, so I just wanted to bring this slide out and this fact out within, within this product because what we are seeing is if you move to um, slide number five, what we are seeing is that several customers are hitting their performance limitations on NAS, and that's where they require something that, that has a higher performance than NAS. So that's why we are really excited about this GS7K. Uh, we, DDN has leveraged a decade plus of HPC expertise and our third generation of embedded technology to bring to market this product. 
And there's a lot of IP that has gone into the way that we embed IBM GPFS within our storage controllers and the way that we are able to split the CPU to give the right amount of horsepower to the RAID processor as well as the file serving heads that are sitting in storage. Um, so customers no longer have to trade off between performance and enterprise features. They can have the best of both worlds. So they can get the, the features and um, the performance that they love, but all in a simple scale-out appliance. Um, there's a lot of text on this slide, but I'll briefly go over the actual details in the rest of the slides. Um, if you move to slide number six, slide number six is the challenges that we see out there in the market right now and what sweet spot we believe this product um, fills. So what we are seeing out there is traditional scale of NAS systems aren't scaling in performance. And I'll, I'll give you two examples of customers we've spoken to. I spoke to a life sciences customer that has a bunch of Illumina sequencers sitting behind storage. And very soon when they have, when they have actual uh, processing being happening and the, and the results are being straight set to the storage system, very often the requirements become multiple gigabytes per second. Uh, similarly, a rich media customer that is doing 4K or 3D resolution non-linear editing, uh, very soon the bandwidth requirements become into multiple gigabytes per second. And at that point, scale-out NAS just becomes cumbersome. The exact, I'll give you an exact wording from a customer. They said, well, a single scale-out NAS that I have goes to about 300 megabytes per second, a single box. If I need to give, get 30, megabyte, 30 gigabytes per second of performance, I will need to manage 90, 100 boxes. That just becomes unmanageable. So what I want is I want the performance of parallel file systems, but I don't want to give up all the features. Um, so I basically what customers are looking for is, is a, 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 a a very powerful storage system that has the performance of a parallel file system. It has all the features and uh, that customers are used to, but all but in packaged neatly packaged in a simple scale out appliance. And that's what we believe the GS7K uh, is designed to do. If you move to slide number seven, this is into introducing the GS7K. The GS7K is basically an easy to deploy, high performance scale out parallel file system. Very important here. And these are the four pillars that this product sits on. The first is performance optimized. It's really very high performance. We are getting some great benchmark results. Uh, last week, we, we were seeing, we were getting up to 12 gigabytes per second uh, per scale out building block. So that's really exciting. And the way that we do it is, uh, like I mentioned, we embed IBM GPFS into our source controllers. And the way that we've split up the processing between the RAID and the actual file servers, that there is some unique IP there, which is the third generation of the embedded technology from DDM. The second is feature-rich. So customers get the performance of a parallel file system, but they get all the features that they are used to from their scale-out NAS, things like snapshots, cotage, application. In addition, DDM has added a lot more value-added features like cloud tiering. So with this product, customers can build a GS7K cluster and then tier to do a WAS cloud or for or for federation purposes. So a lot of amazing features in this product. Um, it's really scalable. Customers can start small with a building block approach. You can, you can start with four U60 drives and then scale up to hundreds of gigabytes per second in performance and capacity because IBM GPFS is inherently very scalable and we leverage that scalability in this product. And what we've done is we've packaged all of, the, all of this in a simple appliance with, with everything that comes preloaded. So customers just have a single vendor support and get a really awesome uh, high-performance scale-out system for the big data requirements. If you move to slide number eight, uh, please see the slide in full screen because there has some, there's some animation here. But basically, this just shows the building block approach in a nice graphic. So basically, customers can start out uh, with one GS7K building block. And, and it's, it's really very high density and very high performance. And as they need additional capacity or performance, they can add multiple additional building blocks. The one thing I wanted to mention here was, of course, all of this is in the single global main states, and also that this product is extremely dense, which is something that customers also love. We can fit in 84 drives in 4U. The expansion chassis that sit behind the actual main controller can fit 84 drives in 4U. So it's extremely dense, and customers love that because then we are able to save them, save them rack space, and in in essence, lower the TCO. If you move to slide number nine, um, the entire GS7K can be managed using DirectMon. DirectMon uh, is is our extremely 
powerful cluster management framework, a uh, single pane of glass to manage DDN, DDN products. And what's interesting about DirectMon is DirectMon can manage mostly any DDN products. So if, a, if, a, if a customer has a data center full of DDN products, say some GS7Ks, some SFA 12KX, some grid scalers, some exascalers, all of those products can be managed from a single pane of glass using DirectMon. Right? So it's a very powerful and intuitive um, pane of glass to manage GS7K appliances. If you move to slide number 10, uh, this is an important slide, uh, and, and, um, and uh, the reason why I have it here is to, to emphasize that we are positioning this product in traditional big data markets that DDN is very strong in. So HPC and a, a big data analysis, uh, cloud, professional media, and government and surveillance. This is not really designed for data center applications like Oracle, Exchange, SAP. So it's not really designed to sit behind the database or exchange. And it's not really designed for virtualization of VDI right now. So we are very careful to pick markets where we know this product will fit really well and has the features that are required in these, uh, these markets. If you move to slide number 11, uh, this is just the GS7K features at a glance. So multiple data access options, uh, basically parallel file system, uh, and then NFS and CIFS, all in Finiband right now, FDR 56 gigabits per second. Uh, on, on the data production side, it has all the features that come inherent in IBM GPFS, things like snapshot rollback, uh, replication, integrated backup. Plus, there are a lot of VDN value-added features, and these include cloud connectivity and tiering, the ability to connect this product to, to the WAS cloud. And I have a slide that talks about that. This also includes uh, direct mount single pane of glass, so you can manage the GS7 player using, using GUI. And it has several features that are inherent in the storage fusion architecture, things like flash caching, SFX. SFX is a DDN feature called Storage Fusion Accelerator. This is our flash caching mechanism, the way to extend your cache using SSDs to accelerate reads and writes. And also React Cache Manager to be able to analyze the workloads in real time and then basically optimize cache to make sure your performance is, is, is what, you, what is the best you can get. And, and finally, I mentioned that this product is, again, the world's densest. We are able to fit 80 foot drives in 4U they're extremely dense, and so this is something that gets customers excited also. If you move to slide number 12, this is something that is, that is something very powerful here. Uh, the ability to be able to tier GS7K clusters and tier data all the way from tape on the left-hand side, you see, to the, to the cloud. So customers can build a single file system, and in the back end, they can move data between multiple tiers from tape to SATA, SAS, and SSG tiers all the way to cloud. Uh, so basically, from, your, from the customer's vantage point, they have a single file system that they read and write data to and from, but in the back end, the data can be moved, the blocks are moved on the appropriate tier based on your policy. And this is something really powerful. G IBM GPF inherently offers tiering between SATA, SSG, SAS, and tape, and what DDN has added is added cloud tiering, so the ability to tier to an actual WAS cloud. So you can basically uh, use it for an active archive. You can offload files to WAS to free up space and improve performance. And you can access all the files from a single global namespace. So when you click on a file, if the file resides on WAS or either on tape, we actually go and bring the file from the backend and show it to you. So something that is getting a customer is really excited, and, and no other vendor actually provides the, this ability to be able to tier to so many different tiers of, of media. And if you move to slide number 13, this is just taking the cloud connectivity tiering part one step further. So the GS7K, the way that we've designed it is customers can actually build multiple GS7K clusters and connect all of that using a WAS cloud. So think of a customer that has a set of geographically distributed teams that want parallel file system access and in the local data centers, but then they want to share data globally across multiple teams. So you can actually federate multiple GS7K clusters using WAS in the backend. So something extremely powerful and uh, something that is really exciting customers that want to build geographically distributed data centers. So typically replication only works between two but this has the ability to uh, collaborate and fit their namespaces up to eight JVG GSMK clusters. So that's the last slide I, I have. I have a lot of detailed slides in the back sections, but basically we are really excited, just to summarize, really excited to announce the GS7K. It's an all-in-one scale-out, very high-performance parallel file system plans. 
and uh, really simplifies uh, the ability for the customer to start small and then scale up from high levels of capacity and performance. So that's it from my side, Rich. Uh, happy to answer any questions you may have. Sure, sure. So, well, thanks for that, Uday. I'm, I'm curious about the uh, HSM capability that you talked about. I think it was slide 12. Uh, uh -huh. What is that? A is that an IBM GPFS uh, package managing that, or is that DDN software doing that? So it's a mix. It's a mix of both, actually. So uh -huh. IBM GPFS by default offers the ability to tear data between. Uh, you can. Because you can tear data between uh, SATA, SAS, SSD tiers, and then tape. Mm -hmm. So that's what GPSS offers. And what DDN has added is DDN has added this cloud tearing capability. Mm. So it's a mix of both. GPFS offers some, and the rest is being added by DDN, such that what we offer is a completely comprehensive cloud, uh, not cloud, just completely comp comprehensive tiering capability so that customers can tear all the way from tape to SATA, SAS, SSDs, and all the way to cloud. Very slick, and and then I was going to ask you about the uh, uh, the SSD caching. Is that built uh -huh. into the, into the appliance, or does that work with a separate SSD device? So you will need a separate SFX license to purchase that. Mm -hmm. uh, the SFX so SFX is storage fusion accelerator. Yeah. This is a feature of the operating system that sits in our core storage platforms. So you need an ex you need you just need an ex extra license to be able to enable that feature. And then you can actually fit in SSDs into our into our system, and then build out a, a tier of SSDs. Mm. So what the customer will need is we'll need to buy uh, an extra license, SFX license, and then put in the SSDs to be able to enable that feature. Yeah. And and what we see customers do is we basically see customers do two things with this. The first is they can build an SSD tier for metadata to accelerate the, the small uh, to, to get better IOPS, and the second is they can actually build an SSD tier to accelerate the data itself. And you can use SFX to do both of these. Okay. And then, you know, I, I'm curious about the future of GPFS, right? We had, uh, we saw IBM split off their x86 business, and I haven't been following. Does does GPFS stay under the IBM uh, umbrella, or did it go off with the uh, Lenovo folks? So, yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah, GPFS stayed under the IBM umbrella, uh -huh. and but the but but uh, IBM was selling GPFS with the X series. The X series hardware has gone to Lenovo, so it's still unclear, and we see some confusion in the field sometimes because the software still stays with IBM, but the hardware is with Lenovo. Yeah, oh. got it, got it. Well, this is a very exciting product. I mean, um, um, do, you, do you think you'll? Uh, where do you think you'll see the initial uptake? It will be in the uh, in the university and research space, or what do you think? So we are seeing uh, excitement in several verticals, actually, mostly high, uh, mostly HPC. Uh -huh. uh, we are seeing excitement in life sciences. We are seeing excitement in, uh, in oil and gas specifically yeah. because of the ability to start small and scale out. Um, excitement in manufacturing, uh, financial services. So multiple verticals in HPC where customers find that the 12K is, is a really large building block. They want something smaller to start with. Right. So they may have large requirements down the pipe, but they want to start small and then scale up based on demand. They can use this product. And that's, so you're seeing a uh, lot of demand in those verticals. Well, terrific. Well, Uday, I want to thank you once again for uh, coming on the show today. Ah, thank you very much for having me here. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.